Hi dear students, welcome back to your channel Hyla Pharmacology. In this session, let us learn about the alcohol aversion therapy. So as you can see here, the alcohol aversion therapy, you're going to use the disulfiram. You're going to use the disulfiram, which is also called as a alcohol aversion therapy medication. So this disulfiram, how it acts is... So disulfiram will going to inhibit the acetaldehyde dehydrogenase enzyme. It will going to inhibit the acetaldehyde dehydrogenase enzyme. So it will going to inhibit the acetaldehyde dehydrogenase enzyme. So thereby what happens is the acetaldehyde converting into acetic acid will be inhibited and the acetaldehyde concentration will increase. So the enhanced acetaldehyde will going to cause the toxic effect. So toxic effect can be of confusion, irritation, chest pain, like symptoms, it can lead to nausea, vomiting, etc. Thereby the person will going to avoid the intake of the alcohol. If the person takes the alcohol, there will be increased levels of the acetaldehyde which will going to create a problems with respect to the side effects. And there will be a discomfort as well as the person will not going to have a pleasurable effect with respect to the alcohol so it is said that whenever we use a disulfiram it is advised to a patient to not to consume a alcohol it should be given in a patient who are motivated to leave the alcohol so in circumstances like if the patient if it is if he is not motivated what happens is if you give a disulfiram the person may die due to the astraldia toxicity as well. So this was about the a short class on the disulfiram. Please remember in case of alcohol aversion therapy we use a disulfiram. Disulfiram will going to inhibit the acetaldehyde dehydrogenase. Thereby it will going to increase the acetaldehyde concentration which will going to cause some toxic effect thereby the person will going to leave the alcohol. Thank you.